one aspect of our collection that is underrepresented is tobacco cards, which were originally used to stiffen cigarette packages and advertise cigarette brands. Over time, they came to identify people, places, and events. They became a way to look at the game's growth and how intertwined tennis is with our culture. Last year, we began working closely with Jim Fold to bring his collection of tobacco cards and accompanying story to the public. We are pleased tonight to open the first of two exhibitions in the three exhibit cases here over the next two years, highlighting Jim's impressive collection. To say a few words about his collection, please join me in welcoming Jim Fold. Thank you. As a child, most of my friends traded baseball cards from Topps and Bowman bubblegum. But I also collected old baseball cards. And then one summer during my college years in the late 1960s, I was working in London and discovered tennis cards. I imagine many of you here never knew there were so many tobacco cards for tennis. So for over 45 years, I've collected thousands of these cards, starting from the 1880s to the 1940s. I've also collected trade cards, and as Doug mentioned, that exhibit will be here next year. The trade cards were issued from chocolate, food, sporting good, and other manufacturers. The tobacco cards, of course, were issued by tobacco companies. Where did these cards come from? The greatest number, if you walk around, come from Germany and England, since baseball and football were the dominant sport in the US. So I would receive catalogs, auction materials, communicate with a few collectors, mostly in England, <clears throat> and thankfully, the People in England do speak English. <laughs> I would also find some at the sport card shows in New York City. And then some 20 years ago, a company called eBay started. And all those catalogs and all those auction places, they disappear. So if you go to eBay today, you'll find over 10,000 tennis cards being offered. Most of them are post 2000, a few of the older ones, but more of the common older ones. But I still find one or two a year to add to my collection. What has fascinated, fascinated me the most about tennis cards and my collection are two aspects. One, the universality of tennis. Over 20 countries are represented here. No other sport could make a claim close to that. If you look at the third category, over there, you'll find about 15 of the countries represented. And the second thing is the diversity of themes. Not only the great tennis players of the day, many of whom are inducted here, but also themes of humor, trophies, events, royalties, and celebrities. I'm sure Clark Abel is somewhere among us. I want to thank the Tennis Hall of Fame for enabling me to share this collection with you and I hope you enjoy seeing it. Thank you very much.